ultimately they weren't a factor. It, it really getting uh, through this bipartisan negotiation on this agreement. I mean, folks are turning This is a good thing for United States security. And so Tom Cotton, Joe was a tool. There you go. Uh, because his efforts seem to have failed. He grossly overplayed his hand. He complicated the U.S. negotiating position. His letter was raised by the Iran negotiators who were saying, well, can you really deliver yeah. on this deal? So it undercut the U.S. Mm -hmm. as he was trying to negotiate with one of our chief adversaries and ultimately it isolated Tom Cotton. I mean, who's going to sign That's a letter nice written by too. Tom Cotton again? And and he's Joe, the same probably a couple more years older than what I thought he was. Slowly come off and... Uh, you count the amount of rings they have on their shells. I'll show you here in a minute. She's wanting to... She's curious. She's wanting to become his buddy. We begin with breaking news tonight. The officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray. What is that, Denda? Is that a turtle? Or at least turtle? State's attorney Marilyn Mosby What's that turtle doing? That motion filed just moments ago. It comes after Attorney General Loretta Lynch announced plans to launch a federal investigation into the Baltimore Police Department. Today... The Department of Justice is opening an investigation into whether the Baltimore Police Department uh -huh. has engaged in a pattern or practice of violations of the Constitution. He's trying to sneak behind that purse. She's going behind this the purse. This investigation will begin immediately and will focus on allegations that Baltimore Police Department officers use excessive force, including deadly force, conduct unlawful up searches, seizures, and arrests. Yes, and I'm out here. Baltimore's mayor asked for the investigation. And last night, the police there you go. commissioner says he supports it. Look at her cocker head. I think it's a good thing. We can use that extra weight. The lawsuits are down. The citizen complaints are down. Officer of all shootings are down. But the community doesn't feel it. If the Justice Department finds Baltimore police have a pattern of violating residents' rights, the city will either have to agree to make changes or go to court. The investigation will likely take months. But Attorney General Lynch says she's hopeful for progress. He is right up on her, ain't he? That we face yep. and that Baltimore's faces now did not arise in a day. That is a and trip. change will not come overnight. It will take time and sustained effort. But the people that I met in Baltimore... I've never seen a cat like that take to an animal, you know. Including one who had been injured amidst the violence. That's kind of the way Sissy treated Endo when she was little. I love my city. Oh, and I'm on the couch. The people of Baltimore want things to get better. 